I'm not the Grinch. It's not that I hate Christmas, it's just that I dread particular things about the Christmas season. Maybe you dread them as well. Find out what they are in this video. Hi everyone, my name is Paul Thompson and thanks so much for watching the video. I am so excited to have you here. Before you start throwing snowballs at me and hating me for being the Grinch of Christmas, let me just get this right out there at the start. I actually love Christmas. Well, in fact, I love every season that I get presents, but Christmas in particular. It is such a, a fun season and, and fun time of year when all the family gets together, and I really, really enjoy that. But there are just some things that I dread. To give you a little bit of perspective, let's, let's start at the very beginning. When I was a young fella, maybe 15 years old, I started working in this big grocery store in down Australia, Woolies it's called, um, and... In the supermarket, they used to start playing Christmas carols for like three months of the year. We would always dread that like September, October mark when the Christmas carols would start playing and they would just go over and over and over and over again. So... What started off being a, a childhood love of mine, you know, you're a young kid, you hear all these Christmas carols for the first time, there's all lights and it's all pretty and you're singing away in the lounge room, the carols by candlelight, how beautiful is that, it's all fun and it's all magical and Santa comes on stage. As a young kid I was like, yeah, this is the best ever, I'll sing this all the time. Then came to working for years at the supermarket listening to those Christmas carols, I wanted to like climb up in the ceiling and rip out the speakers it would drive me insane. So that is just for the context, that is one reason why I'm dreading the holiday season. The other is about buying presents. No, hey, wait. Not because I have to buy presents. That's not what I meant. I, I do like giving presents. I, I really do. But I hate deciding on what to get people. I just don't know. I am so bad at picking ideas uh, for presents for people. If you have any tips or tricks on how to find a good present for someone, then please let me know. So I'm kind of grateful uh, in that my mum, over the last few years, she kind of thought ahead. She's a thinker. And uh, she started doing a, a secret Santa in our family because we had lots of like, brothers and sisters and then like partners. And it was just getting crazy expensive. Like we're buying tons of presents for everyone. So... Old mum, she said, let's just do a secret Santa and we can like pick it out of a hat and she gives us the name of a, a sibling um, to buy a present for. That was sweet. So now instead of making like 12 different decisions, I just need to make one. And that's still hard. Oh, I'm not going to tell you who I have in this uh, for my secret Santa because they're probably watching the vlog. So I'll keep that one a little secret, but I am dead set struggling uh, and I'm not sure what to buy them. Um, it should be kind of interesting. I'm thinking that I'm just going to buy them a present and if they don't like it, then I'll take it. Is that what you do? Is that what happens? Like here's a present and if you don't like it, send it right back and I'll take it. So that's the two reasons why I don't like dreading Christmas so far. One is the Christmas carols. Two is buying presents for other people because it's so difficult. Three is the food and drink. Now my biggest like sin is that if there is a platter of food on the table I will purposefully wear like shorts and pants with big pockets so I can just stuff the food in there and take it home after the buffet I love food and I love drink as well so Christmas is like the culmination of the most difficult part of the year to stay on track with any kind of diet or fitness regime uh, I just go to town on all of the food, the delicious food that's on the table. And I really dread that because I have such poor self-control when you have a whole platter of like food and cake and lollies and chocolates and yummy food. So there are a couple of the reasons why I dread Christmas. Maybe you have the same uh, or similar experiences. I hope so, otherwise I'm going to feel really weird that I'm the only one that dreads Christmas. If you do and you'd like to share some stories on why you dread Christmas, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to go the other option and tell me all the reasons why you absolutely love Christmas, you can let me know as well. That'd be so great. I will, um, I'll have a chat to you down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video today. Reach out to me on any of my socials and if you haven't already, 
please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would mean the absolute world to me. If you liked the video today, give it a big old thumbs up and I will chat to you again next week. Bye.